Hello, hi there Geminis, welcome to my channel. My name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love horoscope for January 2018. So, so, so you lovely Geminis, how does your year start and happy new year by the way. <laughs> so firstly actually before I do that, if you'd like to know more about me and my services, all the links to my services are just down below. My readings start as little as 4 99 for a private reading or for a private chat, um, but all the links are below or perhaps you'd like to join me on my Facebook page where I give actually daily live guidance there too as well. So, you know, I like to jump straight in with this reading about what it is that my spirit guides, which is how I do all of my readings, want to convey to you in terms of the themes that you need to be considering when it comes to what the energies that are at play when it comes to your love life. And they're really giving me like this beautiful image that I'm being given, but it may not feel beautiful until you go through it until the end, <laughs> a little bit like that. And some of you, some of you, to, to be fair, most of, most of the time I do my readings in a very linear way, like week one this, week two this, so on and so forth. But it feels to me that actually this could happen or you could reach the point that I'm going to get to at any of that stage during this month. So you might reach this stage very early on, first week, happy days. You might also take, you know, most of January to actually get to the happy place. But get there, you will. All right. So. My guides are saying here, for you, this is what they say, they say, who so loves, believes in the impossible. Who so loves, believes in the impossible. They're saying here that some of you have an impossible wish when it comes to love, or you believe it's impossible because it's been hard, disappointing. You know, you would speak to your friends and they would say that's never going to happen, you know, because of X, Y and Z. You have this impossible dream when it comes to love. And some of you, let's say, have ended 2017 absolutely convinced that that dream is dead. I feel really emotional, sorry. <laughs> it's not dead. It's not dead. It's far from dead. In fact, there's a reprieve. A surprise one you may watch this and thinking yeah right there is a surprise that's there's a reprieve of something to do with your love life that you thought was dead you've told yourself it's dead even as you watch this like nope it's dead i'm done or it's not going to happen it's too impossible my guides are saying here if you can believe in love so there's a little bit of manifesting going on here then the impossible will happen because what you think has died is not died. Something has changed and that's the dynamics, the energy has changed. The last two and a half years, particularly in 2017 as it started to wear itself down, was challenging, was difficult, was, was hard. But we're not in that cycle anymore thanks to Saturn moving into Capricorn and some other astrological stuff that I won't bore you with. We're now in a new two and a half year cycle where some of the planetary aspects are sitting in places that they're much more happy to sit in which means things are flowing differently there is a change where the impossible can happen but you need to believe it and as soon as you believe it happens <laughs> i have to say and you know what i don't even care i think even if you don't believe it's going to happen it's going to knock your socks off the way it's coming across it feels to me that like i said some of you this could happen sooner some of it could take the end of it but some of it comes from you it feels to me that there's a real need for you to to believe that you are lovable to believe that magic can happen to believe that um the connection you're in can improve or a past relationship can come back or that you'll be that if you're single that you'll meet the person that ticks all the boxes that you're going to get married to Whatever it is that you are disbelieving, changes in this month powerfully, powerfully, my dear Geminis. And the only work that you have to do, my guides are saying, is on yourself and what you believe about yourself, that you are loved, that you are lovable, and that this particular situation that you have in mind, and only you will know what that is, but the impossible can happen. Like, I can't stop smiling about it, but I'm being honest with you, because I think some of you are going to be surprised with a capital S. And I've been in the same place pretty much the same time, about five years ago, where I thought, I was absolutely convinced, 
that the thing that I wanted was not going to happen. I spent months and months thinking it was, and I got to a place where I was like, it's not going to happen. No psychic can tell me anything. <laughs> I don't believe them. <laughs> Literally. And all I can say <laughs> is I'm now married to that person that I thought was impossible. If that helps you, <laughs> right? So, and it was about the same time. So, and there's a bit of a cycle going on in Gemini's in particular, but I just have to say, romantically, expect the impossible to happen. And partly the way that you get to it is by believing in love. You need to get rid of fear. You need to be self-caring. You need to look without expectation of others. You need to be looking into the future and not into the past and dwelling on negativity. Yes, if you let go, then remain letting go. But you need to do it with, with your vibration up here so the universe will align it to you like a magnet out of hell super quickly. All right? Or... Or, 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 all right, or stay in the lower vibration and wait to the end of the month when it comes and surprises you anyway. You choose. <laughs> all right, you know last year, Gemini, some of you flipped, some of you, not all of you, but some of you flipped back and forth in terms of your thought forms and what you would and you wouldn't do. All right, I have to say, just very, very quickly, some of you are, some of you are surprising other people because you're doing it with the confidence because why you believe in love and so you will be surprising people because perhaps it's you that needs to do something but you do it again because you filled yourself with confidence you filled yourself with belief and not negative messages the sooner you can get rid of that fear that low vibration the sooner your happiness will come the sooner you will surprise yourself or somebody else is going to surprise the heck out of you. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm super excited. Ah, I love that reading. It's like, oh, it was wonderful. Like, please do tell me how it goes. <laughs> What's, who surprised you? What was the impossible thing that you thought was dead, was impossible, was not going to be? What was it that changed and surprised you? And remember, it is a surprise, so it may also turn out in unexpected ways that you were not expecting either. I hope that's been helpful. <laughs> Do let me know. I'm going to be most intrigued with Gemini's uh, this, uh, this 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 January. So I, I don't know what else to say. Can't wait. Anyway, guys, do comment, do like, do share. I can't wait to, to find out how your January went. And you all have an amazing time. I've been Bella. Take care.